he is saying, if I've understood it correctly, because it's completely apparent from what he's mm. saying. And this is what really triggered us. Yeah, yeah. This, this he, is something that really upset us. He, he's using a comparative in English language, the word better, to signify that his life or his morality had improved as a result of distancing himself away from the deen, uh, religion, and in this specific example, Islam. My first question to him would be... From oh, hold on, before you give him the first question, peace of Christ to everybody that has introduced to you, Dr. Muhammad Hijab and his nurse, Ali Dawa. They are private consultant for family problems. A guy, he said, I left Islam and I am not, I am now a better person because I'm not a Muslim. And that hurt their feeling. And now they are going to school him. Look at this. Look at the both of them, their legs in the top of each other. I mean, and they are thinking, this is like, look, you can see like here the deep thinking and the amazing concentrating in the in what I will say next and look what this guy will say how big the poo poo he will do I mean this guy is a priceless for us you see before he was just a speaker corner we laugh at him I mean we don't care what he say because it's a place where people shout but now because he claim and they claim that he brought victory against David Wood so we start concentrating and we start noticing how much poo poo this guy he have <laughs> listen carefully and focus with me. You have a question for this guy who left Islam. Look at the question. Where do you get your moral anchorage? How do you derive morality? Where do you choose? How do you know what is right and wrong? From where do you get what is right and wrong? You know, from an, on an objective level. So absolutely from Islam. I mean, come on, this guy he left Islam. He have no morality no more. My friend, you should learn morality. From the Quran, as an example, the Quran says you can beat your wife, and that's a that's a very decent moral behavior for anyone uh, in any uh, decent religion. I mean, chapter four, verse number thirty-four says, "Scourge your wife, beat them." The Abdul here will say to us, "Oh, it says beat them lightly." I mean, I never heard of a beating. It's lightly. This is a beating for punishment, and we can show you the hadith where it says that the woman, her husband, he did beat her until her skin became greener than her clothes. And even the prophet, he took the side of the man who had beat her, which means the husband, against the women, and he never punished the man. In the top of that, he gave him a verse saying, beat them. Beat them as much as you like. You will see here in the hadith, it says that even Aisha, she is saying and witnessing that she never saw a belief in any woman, anyone, is suffering as much as a believing woman, as you see with me in the screen. I mean, this is morality. Her skin be, become a greener than her clothes. And my friend, where you will get your morality from? Huh? And Muhammad, he forced this woman to take off her panty and to be raped by the man who she'd been forced to marry to because she want to go back to her previous husband. And as long as we want to talk about morality, even though this is not my topic really, but just I want to remind hijab that because of morality he said in a previous video that in islam we can have there is nowhere in islam it says that you cannot have sex with the children all what islam teaching us that you cannot do harm which means if the child have a physical body fit for that sexual thing we can do it and you can see the video he have there actually i have it and maybe i will play it later the prophet who did marry a child of six years old Obviously, he is the best of morality, right? A prophet who went to own his, his own son to visit him, and he flirted with the wife when she is married to his own son. Obviously, he can teach us morality. And then, not only that, he said to her, flirting with loud voice, so she would hear it and she would tell her husband, the poor husband, who, who right away decided to divorce her because now he knew that Muhammad, he have his eyes on him, on his house. So... He will kill him to get the wife. So he divorced her immediately. So he go to the house and he flirt with the wife and he say, praise be to Allah, the one who made my heart a flip for you. I mean, my friend, how you can have morality if you are not a Muslim? Let us face it, please. You cannot be moral. 
The Quran says Muhammad he attacked people, kidnapped their women and raped them. As an example, Safiya. As an example, Muhammad he was caught cheating with his own slave in the bed of his wife, and this is why the Quran says that they have a strike against him. I mean, this is the true morality. This is a pure morality, my friend. It's morality to promise me that when I go to heaven, Allah will give me endless number of women, and each time I have sex with them, Allah He will put His finger there, or He would something I don't know what He will put, and He will make them virgin again. That's amazing. That's morality. Enslaving boys in heaven just to serve me eighty thousand boys. This is absolutely morality. It's absolute. Killing the Christians and the Jews and anyone who don't believe in Islam, this is morality. Your prophet, my friend, is a pure moral. But anyway, this is not really my topic because the pupu is not there yet. Look what this guy will say so we can laugh together. Go ahead, Abdul. We are listening. Please. We are truly, truly listening. Go ahead. Here, because the thing is, we as Muslims, we believe, mm -hmm. as you know, yeah. that Allah, who is the creator of the heavens and the earth, mm -hmm. he sent prophets. And these prophets are sinless prophets who guide people to the straight. What? What, what? what he just said? This is the biggest poo poo ever I heard before, or until now. This guy, he just said that in Islam, the prophets are sinless prophets? Hold on, hold on. I want to hear this again. And these prophets are sinless prophets. What? 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 I want to hear it again. Uh -uh. Yes, he sent prophets. And these prophets are sinless prophets. What a donkey. <laughs> Here we go. Let us get you busted. Back to business. Chapter 40, verse number 55. This verse is speaking about Muhammad specifically. It says, فَصْبِرْ إِنَّ وَعْضَ اللَّهِ حَقُّ وَاسْتَغْفِرْ لِذَنْبِكَ وَسَبْ etc. Let us read. Let us read, guys. Maybe, maybe, I'm, maybe I'm lying. Maybe, maybe I'm saying that Muhammad is a sinner, but he is not. This, this guy, he said that Muhammad, the prophets, all the prophets are not sinners. What a big fat liar you are. Then have patience, O Muhammad. Lu, the promise of Allah is true, and ask forgiveness for the sin. The sin of who? Maybe the Abdul will say, this is not for his sin, maybe for the sin of others. Let us go to the interpretation and see. By the way, it says clearly, it's you ask for them bika, for your sin. Wastaghfir li them bika, for your own sin. We go to the interpretation to make it more clear. So there's no more dust around and there's no more fog around us so we can see it clear. So, so patient, be patient, Muhammad. Surely God promise to guarantee victory of his friends is true for you. Whoever follow you among you, such friends, and ask for forgiveness for your sin. So why this idiot, he said the prophets in Islam don't have sin, when the Quran confirm that not only prophet of Islam they have sin, the only one in Islam does not have sin is is the, is the Isa, Jesus, the Christ. Mm -hmm. He sent prophets, and these prophets are sinless prophets who guide people to the straight. What? The rest they do have sin, and as you see, where he got this from? That prophets of Islam don't have sin, as you see, it's in front of you. Now, is this the only verse saying Muhammad is a sinner? Absolutely not. Let us continue, brother. Mm -hmm. He sent prophets. And these prophets are sinless prophets who guide people to the straight. What? I'm learning from you, Muhammad Hijab. I'm learning. This is a chapter 47, verse number 19. It says, وَاسْتَغْفِرْ لِذَنْبِكَ وَلِلْمُؤْمِنِينَ وَاسْتَغْفِرْ لِذَنْبِكَ Ask for forgiveness of your own sin and the sin of the believers. But this guy, he said, there is no such a thing. Read with me. So know, O Muhammad, that there is no, there is, there is, there is, there is, there is no Allah save Allah. <laughs> I mean, this sentence is very funny. There is no Allah save Allah. <laughs>
<laughs> That's, there is no potato, save potato. Ask for ask forgiveness for the for the sin and the believing and believing sin. So Muhammad he have a sin. Hold on. Maybe Christian Prince is misquoting. Maybe this one it doesn't even talk about Muhammad. Maybe it talk about something else. I mean, you never know. Those Christians always they say things which is not true about Islam. Let us go to the interpretation. As you see, chapter 47, verse number 19, Tafsir al Jalalain. Read carefully with me, Abu, and let us laugh at this joker who claimed that he is a person who have knowledge in Islam. O oh, Muhammad, O oh, Mami, O oh, Mami, Mami blue, Muhammad hijab, you blew it. O oh, Mami, O oh, Muhammad, O oh, Muhammad, ask for forgiveness of your sin. Ask for forgiveness for your sin. So why this idiot he is saying in Islam we have a prophets who are sinless? Uh, I mean, what you expect? Because he is very highly educated about Hebrew, and he was teaching us Hebrew, and he was schooling David Wood in Arabic, he did not read that before. He never saw this verse verses before. I mean, those mostly, most likely, those are new verses. He never saw them before. But he is educated for sure. He knew the Quran page by page. He can teach you. He can answer you about anything in Islam. But he never heard anywhere it says that the Prophet Muhammad was a sinner, badly sinner. Are we done? No. I mean, I cannot even stop my ears from listening to the wisdom. The creator of the heavens and the earth, he sent prophets. And these prophets are sinless prophets. <laughs> After 20 years of researching Islam, you come with this. He sent prophets, and these prophets are sinless prophets who guide people to the straight. What? I agree. They are sinless. Let us go to more verses. Not only Muhammad is a sinner, but Allah He gave him a license for future sin and sin to come in the future in, in the uh, sin to in the past or in the future chapter 48 verse number two brother that may allah forgive thee of the sin that which is in the past and to come who muhammad you see the muslims they say that in a certain time the church was given a document to forgive your sin if you get the money muhammad he is the one who came with this document we don't have it your prophet claimed that his God gave him an open license for sin. The Muslim, they lie, they say that the Christian believe that because Jesus saved them, they can do any sin they want. They give them a license for sin. That's a big fat lie because Jesus said, not everyone says to me, Lord, Lord, will enter the kingdom of my father, but the one who do his will, which means you say you believe, but you don't do the will, you don't go to the kingdom of my father. Here we go, Muhammad. He is doing sin and Allah give him a license for the past sin of forgiveness. But we never heard of somebody getting a license for the future sin, for the one to come. You see it? That which is in the past and that which is to come. So why this guy is lying? Maybe he's not lying. Maybe he's just an ignorant idiot claiming to be Dr. Muhammad Hijab, who went to school, Christians, and someone don't speak Arabic like David Wood, so we take advantage of that, and we say, you don't know Arabic. <laughs> and that's why he don't want to debate me, because I know Arabic. <laughs> By the way, maybe, maybe, I'm reading translation, and this is not what it's meant. What about we read the interpretation, please? Come on, show some respect. All right. Chapter 48, verse number 2. Muhammad. Let us read the interpretation, please, and see if this is what it's meant. Read with me carefully. That God may forgive you, etc., for your struggle with what is past of your sin and what is to come. You choose the wrong idiot to defend Islam. There is one view, or let us say one scene, took 
my attention. Remind me of the zoo. Take a look. Please download the video and share it around. Thank you and God bless. Say that one more time. Say that one more time.